This year, Krasniki, congratulations on your gold medal. Um, it was a very interesting to see you uh, warming up with your opponent at the beginning of the day. T tell me about your relationship and friendship with, uh, with Pop Wrecker. Well, out of, outside of the mat, I, I respect everyone and I try to help everyone who needs help. And today, we both uh, didn't have any sparring partners, so actually she asked, asked me to warm up, so I, I, of course I agreed because I needed her too. So we warm up and we wished each other good luck and to see each other in finals. So this happened and I'm very happy. Did it uh, affect the fight at all for you? Like coming out to fight someone who you've been warming up with and how does it also affect the warming up? Because you, do you hold back anything? Uh, honestly, I was afraid a little bit <laughs> that I will be more soft, but no, I'm different. I change when I step on the mat, so I, I wanted to win. Uh, uh, last time I lost against her, so I wanted to revenge <laughs> even that we, we warm up together and we respect each other, but this is what we do. It's, we are professional athletes. So. Yeah, how did that affect uh, the way you approached this fight, the fact that you lost last time? You, you were 2-0 up before last fight, then you lost. How, how do you approach uh, fighting someone who you've lost to in the last fight? Uh, it was my first competition after Olympics, and I, I wasn't so prepared. I go there after my vacations, but I needed <laughs> one competition in my new weight category. But it was a strong fight and I lost against her, but uh, I go home and I train every uh, each competition that I lose or even if I win and I don't have a good performance, I go home and I try to improve my judo and this happened today too. How does it feel to be back at 52 kilograms? It feels good, even that it's harder to come back after a big result like Olympic champion. It's harder to keep it, but uh, it helped me that I changed my weight division because now I, I have something else to focus with new opponents and new weight and everything is new. So now I'm more motivated and I hope I will repeat my result in 52. Uh, does having the gold back patch change anything for you, walking around with this Krasniki in gold? Yes. I. I see it a lot in competition that people respect me more and they ask me to make pictures and autographs, yes, especially here today. It was crazy. Even uh, at my first fight when I was waiting for my fight, everyone, all kids was like saying my name and wanted to take a picture. So I, it's good to have, uh, of course, it's every Udoka's dream to have uh, the gold back number, and I'm, I'm very blessed to have it. And you did Osoto again today. Uh, it's such a strong technique. Everyone knows you're going to do Osoto. How do you still manage to, to throw them with it? Uh, Osoto is my favorite technique. I do it from a lot of positions with right opponents and with left opponents. So I, it's, it comes naturally. It's not that I think to make this technique. It, it comes just naturally because I I think I trained it a lot, so it's like it. And uh, we've got Olympic qualifications starting again soon. Um, is that going to change how you approach anything? What are your plans for the rest of the year? Uh, yes, of course. I'm very focused. I'm preparing too much for Olympic Games. My goal is Olympic Games. And for this year is uh, World Championships. Uh, for me, it's important to be in podium no matter what medal I get. Uh, but my focus is Olympic Games again. Thank you so much, Tishria. Congratulations.